You know, a lot of you channels out there that uh, cater to a certain particular audience, you know, you're so certain that a particular fighter is going to win. It's in the bag. You know, I got the secret. Uh, I have the secret signs to see why well, this is just a joke. You know, uh, this, this fight is just, <laughs> there's no way. I'm going to go ahead and say it. There's no way that Manny Pacquiao can win. Ford is just the greatest technical boxer of all time. Yada, yada, yada. All right. Well, I may not be the greatest boxing mind on YouTube. I'm not. Um, I make boxing videos secondarily to basketball videos. Okay. But I've watched my fair share of boxing matches over the years. Uh, I've watched boxing ever since I was six years old. Early 1987 is when I first started watching boxing. And during that time period, I've seen a lot of fighters who were not expected to win. Not only win, but win in surprising fashion. Um, you know, there have been a lot of technically uh, brilliant boxers over the years. You know, Willie Pep. But Willie Pep got his ass whooped more times than not by Sandy Sadler. And I also try to tell people that boxing is different from an NBA series or a baseball series. And that boxing is more like NFL. You get one shot, all right? Um, you know, LeBron and company or Tim Duncan and company can come in and lay an egg in game one, all right, and go down 0-1. But they've got chances. they got another chance to get back into series and take control. When it comes to boxing and sports like that, it doesn't work like that. If you get knocked out in the first round, you don't get a do-over. And I just think that when it comes to this fight, there's too much talk about the physical aspect of it and not enough about the mental aspect of it. And I think that usually people who, who don't talk about the mental aspect of it are a little bit younger. As you get older... I guess it, it sort of correlates with for athletes, you know. As you get older, you lose a lot of your physical skills. And you have to rely more on your mental acuity. And what you've accumulated in knowledge over years. I think a lot of this fight is going to have to deal with mental toughness. Um, and it's not always going to be about skill and that's bullshit. I, I, you know, boxing is is about skill, but it's about will as much as anything, and that's why I'm really starting to doubt my earlier thoughts about this fight. I'm starting to sway a little bit, and it has nothing to do with watching YouTube videos because I haven't really been watching many prediction videos over the last few weeks. I've just been observing certain things. And I'm getting the feeling, <coughs> excuse me, I've always got the feeling that Floyd Mayweather is a great, I, I'll put it to you like this. I think Floyd Mayweather after this fight with Manny Pacquiao. I think whatever the outcome of this fight is going to be, 
his mental toughness and his fortitude are going to be talked about. Now, whether it's going to be positively, uh, in a positive light or negative light, that's up to the performance. But I have more doubts about that with many of with Floyd Mayweather than I do with Manny Pacquiao. And a lot of that has to do with each individual's upbringing. Now, I'm not going to act like Floyd Mayweather's bull with a silver spoon in his mouth, but he can't be so poor being that his father was himself a professional boxer. And growing up in the United States, unless you grew up in certain isolated areas in this country, you can't compare it to growing up in the Philippines. You just can't. So just growing up in a third world country like that uh, is enough for a guy to be able to come back. Like, for instance, Manny Pacquiao was able to come back from being knocked out multiple times in his career. That tells me this is a guy with a do or die mentality. All right, for him to get stopped, he had to get knocked the fuck out. All right, but he was able to recover from that. A lot of fighters never recover from being knocked out. One point, uh, one guy I can bring up is a guy like uh, the late Mac Foster. Um, he was at one point in time a top. I think he was a number one contender uh, heavyweight. Uh, during the early 1970s. I think he had a series of losses. In fact, I think he got knocked out himself. Never was the same fighter again. And there's been other fighters like that over here over a period of time who have never been the same after after particular losses. You know, uh, Meldrick Taylor is one who had victory right there Snatched away from him like the final seconds of the bout. Never was the same fighter again. Riddick Bowe, probably the most talented. Wow. I, I would say he was the most talented underachiever, perhaps in boxing history. Riddick Bowe could have been one of the all time greats if he wasn't so lazy and undedicated at times. And I'm not certain that uh, if Floyd Mayweather gets in trouble. See, he's always in the past been able to coast. And I I'm going to pick up on something that Zone 6 did say in a video. Because I, I listen to a lot of Zone 6 videos. It makes a lot of interesting points. A lot of times people tend to say that Floyd makes adjustments. And his own six contention is his contention that Floyd's not really making adjustments. Floyd's just getting geared. Like he's sometimes he takes rounds off. And then he basically says, Okay, well, let me just go ahead and start fighting now. Let me get serious. This guy's plotting in front of me, it's just gonna be easy. You know, and he fights a guy who's coming to him, who's not gonna be able to hit him, and he's just a, a, a target right in front of him. Okay. I don't think Manny Pacquiao is that type of fighter. 